In this video, I'm going to show you four essential Camino websites and how each of them will make planning your Camino so much easier. Before you walk a Camino, you are gonna have a lot of questions, which is why my first recommendation is the Camino de Santiago forum. The address is CaminoDeSantiago.me. This forum is packed full of helpful information for new and experienced pilgrims. The top tabs are fairly self-explanatory. The forum store sells all the popular guidebooks. The resources tab has lots of free downloadable PDF guides and maps. You'll need to register on the site before you can post a question, but it's free. Down here on the right, you can see the latest posts from members from all over the world. There's newer threads and live on the Camino with pilgrims letting everyone know what it's like out there right now. All the main topics are broken down into useful headings, as you can see here. And the Camino routes are helpfully broken down by country. Let's take a look. So these will be threads about every single Camino that is in Spain. This website has a lot of experienced and active members so if you post a question, you will get lots of useful, dare I say, brilliant advice. So I'd give it a try. Gronzi.com is in Spanish. So I recommend viewing the websites on either Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Either one of these will translate it for you. The stages of the Camino are broken down for you. So you can use it to help you plan your trip. So here you see you get a description of what to expect for the section, a basic map, and below the accommodation that is available in each town. The accommodation has handy little icons letting you know what they offer and whether or not you can book the room via booking.com. You also get the address, the contact details, website, and if they are on booking.com. This site also has useful information on you know, things like what to pack and other pilgrim services, which are very, very helpful. So this website is CaminoApp.com and this is such a useful site. It allows you to create bespoke stages based on how far you think you can walk each day and print off your own itinerary. So let's look at the Portuguese coastal here. So first off, you choose a date for when you start. And then when you've picked a date, you select your starting point. For this one, because it's the Camino Portuguese, I will choose Porto as my starting point. Underneath that, it will show you all of the available accommodation in Porto. And as you go, you see the distance gets greater and greater and it's showing you how far you've walked from your first destination. So I select this town for number two, 23.8 kilometers, and then so on. The next day would be 28. And then when you get to the end and you've made it all the way to Santiago with your planning, you can export your plan as a PDF, which is super, super useful. The amazing thing is that if any of the towns you stay in have accommodation on booking.com, simply scan the QR code and it opens up that town you're staying in with your dates preloaded into booking.com. No Camino list is complete without recommendations of who to follow on YouTube. I discovered Nadine Walks when I was researching the Invierno Camino and I enjoyed her video diaries on the route. She's walked a fair few Caminos, she's passionate, full of energy and her videos can be a great way of getting to look at well, what it's like out on the Camino. Rob's Camino has been publishing high quality videos for a while now and I admire his honest, straightforward style as he talks about all things Camino. He has made so many videos. His content will literally keep you going for hours. And he's also a frequent contributor to the Camino Forum. These websites will make you a Camino planning pro. Now, getting to the start of the Camino Francaise in saint jean pied de port can sometimes be a bit tricky. There are a limited amount of trains every day, and if your flight is delayed, it can lead to real anxiety. 
I've made a video up here, it's a short video, and it outlines a local French company that take the stress out of getting from Biarritz to the start of your Camino. So I really recommend taking a look at that. Hey.